you make mistakes calculating repair costs on a foreclosure house, you're in for a nightmare. So you're thinking about buying a foreclosure in New York, right? That's awesome. It can be a golden opportunity to snag a great deal on a property, but it's not without its unique challenges. And if you make mistakes calculating for the repairs needed to bring it up to par, it will cost you an arm and a leg and even cause you to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. Even if you're a seasoned investor who's been around the block or a first time home buyer looking to score a fantastic deal, it's crucial to get a handle on the process and know what to expect. This is why I'm speaking with you today about this very topic. Let's jump right into the conversation about the key steps to ensure your foreclosure purchase is not just smooth, but also profitable. Let's begin with estimating repairs and your game plan. For your foreclosure, this part can be a bit tricky, but with a solid plan, you'll be golden. Here's how you can tackle it. Step by step, this is how I do it. Hire a home inspector, first things first. You absolutely need to get a home inspector. Trust me, this step is absolutely crucial and is the first step to take to analyze the project and its potential as well as disadvantages. A good inspector will thoroughly evaluate the property and pinpoint any major issues. Why is this important? Think of an inspector as your detective. They look beyond the obvious stuff and find hidden problems like foundation issues, electrical hazards, or plumbing leaks. You don't want to buy a house only to discover it needs a new roof or worse, like mold in the basement. Ugh. The inspector's detailed report will give you a clear picture of what needs fixing and how much this might cost. It's an investment that can save you a ton of money and headaches down the road. So please don't cheap out here. Even if you don't buy the property at the end, or even if you don't win the bid. So let's get to the fun stuff, creating a repair checklist to get started. Once you've got the inspector's report, it's time to get organized and create a comprehensive repair checklist. This is going to be your roadmap to getting the house back in shape or deciding to walk away from this foreclosure in the first place. How to do it? Just break everything down into categories like structural, electrical, plumbing, and cosmetic repairs. This way, you can prioritize what needs to be done first. For example, fixing a cracked foundation is more urgent than repainting the living room. You might want to use a spreadsheet to keep track of each repair, estimated costs, and potential contractors. It helps to have everything in one place, so you can easily update your budget as needed for instance, you can create columns for each repair item, the estimated cost, the actual cost, and any notes about contractors you've contacted already. This will help you stay on top of things and make sure that nothing gets forgotten or overlooked. It's very easy to forget and miss things, especially when the real estate market is hot and we have to make decisions very quickly. We don't want to make any mistakes. Now it's time to get multiple quotes. Now that you know what needs fixing, it's time to get some quotes. Don't just go with the first contractor you find. Get multiple quotes to make sure you're getting a fair price. For me, I have a contractor that I trust and can rely on him. So how to do it? If you don't already have a contractor you work with and trust, start with asking for referrals. Talk to friends, talk to family or real estate agents. Personal recommendations are invaluable in this situation. Check reviews. Also use websites like Angie's List or Yelp to read reviews and ratings of contractors in your area. Personally, I like to look on Google for reviews. I feel like it's easy to pay for reviews on sites like Yelp and Angie's list, but this is only my feeling, so don't take it as fact. Look for consistent positive feedback and be cautious of any red flags. Spend time reading reviews thoroughly. It is time well spent. Compare estimates, look for discrepancies in the quotes, and ask contractors to explain any significant differences. For example, if one quote is much higher or lower than the other one, find out why. It could be that one contractor noticed something the others missed, or perhaps they're using higher quality materials. When you're comparing quotes, make sure they're very detailed. You want to see a clear breakdown of 
labor costs and materials so you can compare them accurately. Also discuss timelines with your contractors to make sure they can complete the work within your schedule. Timelines are huge, especially if you are looking to flip the property or have a loan in place. Holding costs will eat into your profit and equity and even put you in the negative. Losing money is just as possible as making a profit. So speaking of financing and financing your foreclosure fixer-upper is also possible, by the way. I find that many buyers don't even think they can buy a foreclosure house because buying a foreclosure requires buying for cash. This is further than the truth. Let me show you. So you found a foreclosure that you love and you're ready to make it your own. But how do you pay for it, especially with all the repairs needed? Well, luckily, there are several financing options available that can help you purchase and even renovate your foreclosure. Let's dive into the details to help you make the most of your investment. One of the most popular options for financing a fixer-upper is the FHA 203k loan. These loans are specifically designed for people buying homes that need significant repairs. The FHA 203k loan allows you to roll the cost of repairs into your mortgage. This means you only have to deal with one loan and one monthly payment. It's a great way to finance both the purchase and the renovation of your foreclosure. There's the standard 203k loan. This is ideal for major renovations that exceeds $35,000 you'll need to work with the FHA approved consultant who will oversee the projects from start to finish. And then there's the limited 203k loan. This one is best for minor repairs and improvements under $35,000. To learn more about 203k loans and the eligibilities and repairs and the requirements, I have made a video already available on my channel that you have access to right here. So the benefits of a 203k loan is a lower down payment, of course. Typically, you only need a 3.5% down payment. FHA loans are more forgiving of the lower credit scores also. One loan, one payment that streamlines the financing process. But the drawbacks are important to talk about also. So the mortgage insurance, you need to pay mortgage insurance premium, which can add to your monthly costs. And the paperwork, the process can be paperwork heavy and can take longer than conventional loans. But if you ask me, if the reward worth the risk, then spending the extra time on paperwork is totally worth it. Wouldn't you agree? Another option is the Fannie Mae's Home Path Program. This is another excellent financing option, by the way. Fannie Mae's Home Path Program, which is specifically designed for foreclosed properties owned by Fannie Mae. Now, how does this work? HomePath offers special financing options to make buying a foreclosure more accessible and more affordable. It offers a low down payment option and the down payments can be as low as 3% and flexible mortgage terms. This offers fixed rates, adjustable rates, or even interest only loans. And no mortgage insurance, unlike the FHA loans, HomePath does not require private mortgage insurance or PMI. If you make a down payment of at least 20%, you don't have to worry about it. The additional benefits are HomePath offers a renovation mortgage option, allowing you to finance both the purchase and the light renovations. And also the HomePath Ready Buyer Program. This program offers up to 3% in closing cost assistance for first time home buyers who complete the home buyer educational course. But what are the drawbacks you may ask? Well, the drawback is the property condition. Homes may need significant repairs and not all properties are eligible for the renovation mortgage. The market is competitive when it comes down to home path foreclosures. These homes can attract multiple offers, making it competitive process. Let's look at personal loans and credit lines as another example of buying foreclosures. If you have good credit, you might also consider personal loans or a home equity line of credit, also known as the HELOC to cover the cost of repairs. Now, how does this work? You borrow a fixed amount of money and repay it with interest over a set period, usually one to five years. The benefit is it's a quick approval and funding and no need for collateral, and it's a fixed interest rate. The drawbacks are higher interest rates compared to secured loans and lower 
borrowing limits. So the home equity line of credit, the HELOC works like this. A HELOC allows you to borrow against the equity in your current home. It works like, let's say a credit card, giving you a line of credit to draw from as you need. And the benefits are lower interest rates, since it's secured by your home and flexible borrowing and repayment terms and potentially the interest can be a tax deductible interest. But in this scenario, your home is used as a collateral. So the risks of foreclosure, if you can't repay the loan and the variable interest rates can lead to fluctuating monthly payments. It's really important choosing the right option when deciding which financing option is the best for you. You need to consider factors such as the extent of the repairs needed, your credit score, and how quickly you're going to need the money. Each option has its pros and cons, so take the time to evaluate your specific situation and consult with a financial advisor if necessary. Now, a tip from me to you, get pre-approved for your chosen financing options before making an offer on a foreclosure. This shows sellers that you're a serious buyer and it can help you streamline the purchase process. So by understanding and leveraging these financing options, you can make a well-informed decision that maximizes your investment and helps you turn that foreclosure into the home of your dreams. You've got the tools, you've got the knowledge, and the game plan to tackle buying a foreclosure in New York. It's a journey filled with opportunities but also with challenges. But with careful planning and the right financing, you are well on your way to turning a distressed property into your dream home or a smart investment. Remember, every great project starts with a solid foundation, both literally and figuratively. Take your time, do your homework, and don't be afraid to ask me for help along the way. Whether you navigating the ins and outs of FHA 203k loans, diving into the benefits of Fannie Mae's Home Path program, or weighing the pros and cons of personal loans and HELOCs, you've got this. So what are you waiting for? Just do it! Get out there and start your foreclosure journey today. You're armed with this knowledge. You can transform a fixer-upper into a fantastic home or a profitable investment. Take the first step and subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Don't forget, make informed decisions and turn those dreams into reality. With lots of caution, let's make it happen together. Your perfect property is waiting. I enjoyed our time together and I will see you at our next video.